Hi everyone, today I'll walk through the process of how to obtain and install the MPC software that comes with the MPC Renaissance, MPC Studio, and MPC Studio Black, as well as how to quickly get up and running and making some music. I'll be registering an MPC Studio Black and using a Windows computer during this walkthrough, but the process is very similar when registering an MPC Renaissance or Studio or using a Mac. First. Go to akaipro.com forward slash my dash account. Create a new account or log into your existing user account. Once logged in, choose register a product and enter the requested information such as your serial number, date of purchase, and where you purchased the unit from. Then choose register product. Once you register, your MPC will be added to your user account. All software, drivers, and support material will be available. This is your home base for your MPC experience and for any other Akai Pro products you've purchased and registered. Download the software and drivers for your computer. Next, download the MPC Content Drum Library. This is a very large library of sounds, so it may take some time to download. Finally, let's also download the 809 expansion plugin so I can show you how to install and open plugins in the MPC software as well. Once you have everything downloaded, go to your downloads folder. The first thing we'll install is the MPC software and drivers. Find the download and double click it to open the zipped file. Within the window that opens, unzip the installation file by double clicking it. If prompted, choose Run. An installer window will appear. Choose the correct MPC. For this example, I'm installing an MPC Studio Black. Choose Install MPC Software. An installation wizard will appear. Follow the prompts to install the MPC software. Choose Next. Accept the license agreement and press next. Choose the components that you will want to install. A full installation is the default setting. Choose next. Note where the 64 and 32-bit MPC plugin installs to. You may need to know these locations if you want to open the MPC software within your preferred digital audio workstation. Then press next. Choose whether to create a desktop icon. Then press next. Finally, press install to begin the installation. Once the installation wizard completes, choose Finish. Do not launch the software at this time. Back in the installer window, choose Install Audio MIDI Driver. Note that on a Windows PC, you'll need to reboot your computer once the driver is installed. Press OK in the window that appears to allow the driver installation to continue. When the setup wizard opens, press Next. Accept the license agreement and choose Next. Finally, choose Install to allow the driver installation to continue. Once it completes, choose Finish and then reboot your computer. Now that the MPC software and drivers are installed and your computer has been rebooted, let's get some sounds for you to use in the MPC software. Go back to your Downloads folder. Find the MPC Content Drum Library. This can be installed to any location on your computer, just remember where you put it. In this example, I'm going to drag it to the desktop. Once on the desktop, unzip the downloaded file. You can do this by double clicking it and in the window that appears dragging the folder to your desktop directly or by right clicking the zip file and choosing to extract it. This contains a large library of samples so it may take some time to unzip. Once extracted, you'll have a folder titled MPC Drum Content. If you have an additional folder titled Mac OS X, you can delete it. For this video, I'll leave the MPC Drum Content folder on my desktop. I'm going to put the original zip file back in the Downloads folder for safekeeping. Now let's install the 809 expansion plugin. Double click the downloaded zip file to open it, then double click the file that appears in the window to begin the 809 installation. If prompted, choose Run, and then choose Install.
When the setup wizard opens, choose next. Accept the license agreement and then press next. Choose install to begin the 809 plugin installation. Once complete, choose OK in the window that appears and then choose finish. Now we'll walk through opening and authorizing the MPC software and creating some sounds using the included content in the 809 expansion plugin. First, connect your MPC and power the unit on. On a Windows computer, allow it to auto-install any drivers it deems necessary. You may see a pop-up in the bottom right corner of your desktop that says something like Installing Device Driver Software. Allow this process to complete. Once completed, open the MPC software. You'll be prompted to unlock it. Choose Unlock Now. In the window that opens, notice that the serial number from your unit is automatically in the top box. If this does not happen, the driver installation may not have completed correctly, and a reinstallation of the driver may be necessary, or a reboot of your computer may be necessary. Otherwise, consider contacting Akai Pro support for additional assistance. Enter the requested information such as your name, email, and address. Once completed, choose Unlock Now and a window will appear stating that the MPC is now unlocked. Choose OK. In the Preferences window of the MPC software, ensure that you choose the correct audio interface that you're using. In my case, I'm choosing the M-Audio M-Track Plus ASIO driver. Press OK to close the window. Now let's access the MPC content drum library. To do so, in the left column, click on the drop-down menu near the top of the software. I saved the folder to my desktop, so I'll choose Desktop and enter the MPC drum content folder. I will now go into the MPC Drum Content folder and then the Drum Kits folder. Note that there are all different types of files in here. The MPC software allows you to easily organize and view these files by clicking on the five buttons above the drop down menu and sorting them by project, sequence, program, sample, or no filter. For example, if I choose sample and then drag a sample file to one of the pads, it will load onto that pad. Simply strike the pad in your MPC and you'll hear the loaded sound. Or you could choose to view the programs and then double click a program and load an entire kit. Once loaded, you can immediately start playing. The included content contains a ton of great sounds and kits to choose from, so experiment and enjoy. Along with the included sound content, the MPC software allows you to access VST and AU plugins as well. Included with the MPC Studio Black are two plugin expansions, the 809 and the Bank. Earlier, we downloaded and installed the 809. Now I'll show you how to quickly open and use it. In the center bottom area of the MPC software, choose the drop down menu next to the word type. Click on plugin. Now, just below that, click on the box next to the word plugin. In the window that opens, you can choose your preferred plugin. Expand the folder, choose the 809, and press select. To view the 809 interface, click the button next to where it says the 809. Now you can choose any of the presets and begin playing your MPC immediately. In this video, we covered how to register your MPC and access the included software programs. We walked through how to download and install the MPC software and the drivers for your computer, the MPC drum library, and the expansion plugins. Next, we ensured that the settings in your software were correct for your audio sound card. Finally, we covered how to load and trigger sounds using the included drum library content and an expansion plugin to quickly get up and running and making some music. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share it. Until next time, thanks for watching.